Are you blind when you're born? Yeah. So just fuck <laughs> on the streets. Could and a king could you sit on his throne? Yeet. Could, could you say that your bites are worse than your yeets? If you can and you do, you're a delicate moment. Beat your meats. I will continue saying this crap. Yeah, don't. Welcome to. Sorry, not tonight. Mine's name is. is Horses. I'm Brad. Hi. Um. I'm sorry about all that. Yeah, well, Brad, it's a very important time of the year, and I think we already talked a little bit about it, but I really just keep wanting to talk about the okay. I know, and I, I mentioned this to you in the car, okay. but the first time watching Cats was, like, wholly forgettable, uh, and the second time watching it, I can't stop thinking about it. Yep. And I, I already told you this, too, it's not for good reasons. Yep. I'm not saying it's hidden art. You know people starting to say that the Star Wars prequels are, are secretly brilliant? Because it's been a while and people want to make a new subversive thing to say about Star Wars. Yep. And they say that the dialogue, they have the audacity to say the dialogue is Shakespearean in the prequel movies. And that's yeah. why they talk bad. Yeah, in the same way that it's fucking nonsense and no one likes it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, I can, I can only say this in a podcast behind a screen where I'm safe. I think Star Wars fans are legitimately the worst fans of anything. That's valid and my parents were both married in a Star Wars. <sighs> they were, but like. They're not, they're not Twitter Star Wars fans. Is they're the not. Yeah, they don't do Twitter. <laughs> yeah, and, and thank God. Yeah. If you like Star Wars, you shouldn't have Twitter or rights. Yeah. Um, especially the people. Oh my God, I was reading this whole thing about like how people hate women, and I was like initially on board. Not that I hate women, but just that yes, the internet is violent and terrible against women, against pretty much everything. Yeah. And you know what they use to illustrate that point? People hating on Raylo. I well, swear well, to God, they were like, women well, love this ship, and it's because women like it that everyone thinks it's bad. I'm like, no! It's because it's bad. Sam looked at me in the theater when that happened, like, and the look was like, did you see that dog get run over too? Yeah. Like, it was not- Are you it, gonna help? No. It was such a look of shock confusion. <laughs> yeah. And even that, like, that movie did nothing to surprise me. That is the one thing that surprised me, and it wasn't in a good way. The only thing that was good about that part is that he would died afterwards. Hey, oh, spoiler alert, skip. Don't watch the Three seconds movies. behind, but now to here. You ever see the person do, uh, finally do one thing right and they get awarded with a kiss? Yeah. For some like reason. Like Voldemort. Man, I really Wait. Love... <laughs> Did that happen? I don't read Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't believe. Man, why is no one shipping Palpatine and Voldemort? Oh, fucking... Man, if they kissed... I could hear them having sex. Yeah, I like, imagine they'd be a lot of... Like, chalk rubbing against it, itself. And I imagine they'd be hissing. <laughs> That's how they dirty talk. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking oh, and you can't forget the whirring of the mechanical arm that suspends <laughs> Palpatine <laughs> above the coitus. Can I tell you that's the funny <laughs> fucking part of that movie is seeing Palpatine come down looking like Gladys from Portal. Oh man, I see. <laughs> the stupidest fucking thing I've seen in my life. See, I what I thought, what it immediately made me think of is the fucking cold, unfeeling. Uh, robotic arm from uh, the single scene of Invader Sim where he hugs it and it throws him <laughs> and so yeah. I was like it just it reminded me I was like oh it's the Zim arm it's cute my favorite thing it's cute and fine my favorite thing is people took pictures in the theater so it's a lot of pictures of this movie yeah and one of the things was like showed Palpatine the beginning looking shitty as fuck uh. saying like dudes in November and then the second one said, dude's in December and his finger's growing back. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good. Can I tell you something nasty that I... Wait, it, well, it's, it's not that nasty. So, yeah? Palpatine, you never looked at his face, right? You saw his face, his oh, big... Looked at it extensively, yeah. It's someone that I... He looks like someone I like. You know who that person is? Colin Mockery. Oh, don't they say look that. exactly the same. If you if you just fucking change the hue and saturation on Colin Mockery, he'd be Palpatine. No, <laughs> you just change the saturation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Desaturate Colin Mockery, put him in a cloak. Yeah. Honestly, they're both just as funny as the Ooh, other one. Ooh, you know what's actually the stupidest part of that movie? Yeah. The fact that after Palpatine sucks all of the life energy out of the out of the Kylis, Kylo Ren and the Ray. 
Um, he changed clothes. Did yeah. anyone notice that? That he went from a big dark cloak to suddenly like a Hugh Hefner-esque like velvet <laughs> cloak under his black cloak. So I don't know what it was about their life energy that also made him change outfits. Or like maybe it gave his outfit life. I don't fucking know. But the fact that he was wearing essentially a Hugh Hefner gi to like <laughs> fucking destroy the Jedi. He went from a brown belt to a black belt. He, uh, yeah, he did. It was uh, fucking bad. And it made me angry. And I told my sister and she told me to piss off because then she couldn't stop seeing it in the movie. <laughs> So that was cool. I think my other favorite thing is he's like, fucking kill me, you little pussy. <laughs> and then she does it. He's like, wait, no, not like that. Yeah. Well, I. He said to kill me so I can possess your body, stupid. That's his whole plan. But. Is. I am, I am several ghosts. <laughs> that is the plot of Star Wars. As he was several ghosts in the same house yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And Star Wars trying to feed that to me that it's just been what is it's just been eight ghosts piloting the same old man hey, for thirty dude, years. Thirty. It's it seems like it's been fucking thing. It's I'm been all, it's been ever since the start of the wars. <laughs> he's been there it's just being a, a bunch of ghosts. ghosts. Dude, he's just a bunch of them in hey, there. Hey, man, the only difference between the Sith and the Jedi is that the Jedi don't possess people and also stack. <laughs> I, I, I honestly thought of that. It's the fact that the difference between them is that they don't possess people. Yeah. That's the only difference. Which, honestly... He said he's all the Sith. All the Sith possess people. But That's I, what he told me. Here's the thing. What I think is, is that there's one ultra ghost, which is Palpatus. Yeah. And he just goes around possessing other people. So it's not that he, it's not that there's a bunch of them. He just like takes their body and then eats their soul. And then they kind of latch onto him. You know, kind of like a, a male anglerfish. You know how there aren't any male <coughs> anglerfish because eventually they find a woman, suck onto her, and then become a part of her body, essentially yeah. just a sperm sack? Yeah. That's what they are to him. <laughs> <laughs> he lifts his fucking gullet and it's just like it's the, just, it's the rest of the but, Sith under there. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little Sithies. It and is it is like one like all for one from My Hero but dumber. Get what? It's All Might's thing where it's all the previous people. Imagine oh. if All Might's thing is you have to kill me so I can possess you. That's the only way you can get my power. Yeah. Young Matori, you have no weapon. Choke, Choke me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Use your tiny baby hands around my thick neck. You thick have man. to work out on the beach so you can get strong enough to choke my really big neck. Oh my god, and it's just so I have to big. be big when you do it. I can't be the small one. Exactly. Otherwise, you'll get the small boy's powers. <laughs> you... <laughs> It'll just give you tuberculosis. <laughs> you it's ones. just a crime unless I'm big. Exactly. That's true. That's true. It's impressive. It's a feat if you kill the big one. <laughs> yeah. The little one, you're a bully. We should mention things that happen to us that are good. Um, you mentioned your thing. Yeah, okay, well, my good thing, as it has been pretty much since it started, um, I went on a very, 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 very good date with my girlfriend, and it was probably one of the best times I've had in life. Uh, a month or two, at least. It's like Solidly. A fondue place. It was amazing. We ate such good food. I was joking about this earlier, but it's the kind of food that makes you moan inadvertently. You yeah. don't mean to, but you just go mm, at the table, make everyone around you real uncomfortable. But it was so fucking good, and I loved it. It was a great time. Made me realize how much I love her. It was wonderful. <laughs> I honestly love that um, this person that you're with has gone from I, I met up with this nice person and I think it went well to now like we're in love and went to a fondue place and the evolution of that story has happened over this podcast it's true it's true everyone can see that before I was just angry and small and stupid and now I'm angry small and stupid with someone far better than me that I pity constantly <laughs> for being around me it's Terrible. Sometimes I think I don't want to say a good relationship feels like that, but oh, like, fuck man, it's dad. It's like I feel like good relationships it, with depression are so scary. Yeah, good. De it's more like good relationships when like one half of the people have horrible self worth issues. Ugh. Because when someone's really good in your life, you feel worse and you don't want to feel worse. I know. Because the other person's so good. Yeah. It's like that. I feel like a tiny... Okay, so like, she's she's tall and beautiful and I fucking love her, but I just feel like a sad backpack half the time. Because I'm like... <laughs> I'm just... Just throw me over your shoulder and I'll just be fucking sad and limp. 
Yeah. That's how I feel sometimes. Sounds like dorm like boots. <laughs> <laughs> Man, between us both, the sidekick's in a very sad story. We're Fuck. the shit that Cypher threw out and didn't find. Cypher the Sky Dragon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he killed Yugi Aura. No, well, I'll work on it. Yeah. Eventually it'll be a joke. Nice. Well. A good thing. Yeah. There's there's a few. Oh. Wow. Which... Look at Brad. Look at me. I had a good week. That's what you <laughs> fucking sound like. I had multiple good things that happened to me. No, it's more fucking like, wow. There's multiple good things Humble that, Brad that could. Humble Brad Mr. Fucking Tall Big Muscles Huge Dick Swinging over here, pull out your dick and rub it all over the microphone because you're so proud of it, yet big, weedy man. Talk about your good things. I could, I could talk about like, I went to Hamilton. I could talk <gasps> about that. Ooh. And like, I'm getting married next month. Aww. Talk about that. I'm going to Japan the month after that. Ooh. Really? So like, yeah. Oh, no, not not Japan actually. Hawaii. Awesome. It, it was gonna be Japan, but. Okay, do both. So like January, January Hamilton, February wedding, like Hawaii March, Hamilton. and like it's a lot of a lot of nice things lined up, cool, cool, which is very nice. Cool, cool. I need to talk about my thing that's better than all three of those. Uh. I found a way to fix cats. I found. Were you blind when you're born? I found a way. It's a perfect play. It's not. All of these cats, they just sing all day. And I'm so fucking proud, and I'm so, I'm so glad you're sitting, so you don't just shit standing up, because I figured out the, the hack to this, and it's so good. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, but I now have the song I really stuck need you. inside my head. I need you to, like, really steady yourself. Choke me with your dog. Jellicle song with Jellicle Cat. Jellicle song with Jellicle Cat. I'm honestly, we're building up this repertoire because I need I need you to prepare yourself. I'm glad you're already living in the fiction. Okay, yeah, I'm living this fucking world, man. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm here. I'm in it. I'm 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 in it so, to win it. What's my cat name? So, so go so, go. What's my cat name? What's my cat name? What's my cat name? What's my cat name? Next. Smallpox. That's my name. <laughs> Your name is Comfort. <laughs> It sounds like what white people think a native name sounds oh like. Oh my god! Yeah! White people are bad! Uh. Alright. So I hate in cats how they moved around. I hate how they looked. Yo, yes. yo what would have helped? One word. <laughs> Colonization. One word. No. Chimps. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> cats. It's chimps. Oh, uh, Brad. I need. Really think. Think! Chips. <laughs> Let it settle in for a little longer than it should. I don't want to. Do you know the beauty of <coughs> chimps? At first I said monkeys, and that wasn't good enough. It needs to be specifically chips. Do you know why? Why, Brad? Because chimps and cats are both one syllable, which means anytime they say the word cat or cats, you can replace it with chimps, and it doesn't change the tempo or meter of the song. So it's Jellicle Chimps. This jellicle dude, Gus, jellicle chimp. Gus the theater chimp. <laughs> please, please, please just imagine. Grizzabella the glamour <laughs> chimp. <laughs> Grizzabella. I love this song. This is a curious like, chimp. No, it doesn't. It's every chimp. No, because in the lyrics, Grizzabella the glamour chimp. Um, who would ever have thought that thimp? What's Grizzabella the Glamour Chimp? No, it's they okay. ran cat with that. No, just <laughs> no one's listening to the music it's anyway. Just true. change Chimp. Please <laughs> just imagine. But Chimp is replaced by everything and it's so fucking good. I feel like you could do the same thing with like Cuck though. No, no, because here's the thing. It's how they move. They had the gall to make them move fucking weird in the movie. They moved like chimps. And the, they didn't have enough hair like they did in the musical one. They're just sort of like, they have fur on them with human faces. Like a chimp. Just change the CG. I know there's a VFX artist out there who's going to hear this, like dig this up. Who's going, replace one scene. See how you affect your world replacing one scene of the cats and just make them a chimp. And see how that kind of, it makes it 5% better. It's not much. But like it makes it a thousand percent funnier. I do, I do need to stop you now and say that I have missed a lot of this by just imagining what you're saying. Like, 
I've been caught in the fiction that you've made, and it's not. It's bad. <laughs> it's, it's so. It's good. it's so much worse. That's just the railway chip. No, chump. no. <laughs> it's just shimble so shimp the <laughs> railway <laughs> Have you, ever talk about, railway train? have you ever talked about that monkeys and gorillas are like a fucking huge laugh trigger for me? I just, so the fact that there's just a musical around chimps <laughs> is like the funniest goddamn thing in the world to me. My dude, I just... Imagine that someone threw out a chimp they didn't want at the beginning of the movie. But like... Just, <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but like... I, okay, I just... Oh my god. Like, the problem is, like, I imagine there would be different types of monkey. Like, it's, yeah. there's not one type of chimp. There's chimps. Yeah. Like, there would have to be lemurs and orangutangus. Yeah. Oh, orangutangus. And, and gorillas. Orangutangus, bus for, bus for Jones. Old Deuteronomy. Super duper a gorilla. Absolutely a gorilla. Um, Grizabella. What's she? <laughs> Grizabella is just like... Capuchi. Uh, Capu yeah. The fluffy one. The small shitty one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mungo Jerry, Rumble Teaser, the ones that fuck. Uh, those are all chimps. Bonobos. Bonobos. Yeah. Chimps. I hate it. Bonobo Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, you just said the name of the animal, then Jerry. It reminds me of the fact that I started playing Monster Hunter World, and they give you a cat companion in that game. I named it Mungo because I thought it'd be funny <laughs> after Mungo Jerry, <laughs> which is the second idea. The first idea was naming it Boner Soup, <laughs> which would be my cat name. Why? Aw. I, I don't know. I like Comfort, though. <laughs> Comfort's good. I love Boner Soup. All because right. what the fuck is that guy about? Is it Boners or Soup? What the fuck's Comfort about? It's Come or Feet. It's in the same neighborhood. I'm sorry. One of my friends wants to sell their feet pics, and it really unfazed me. I was like, go for it. No one's hurt. <clears throat> Dude, I feel like it's way cooler to sell feet pics than to buy them. You know? <laughs> so as long as, <laughs> as long as that's the part of the transaction you're in, also, chase your bliss. This also came up when I was talking <clears throat> to my friend. I don't want to say which friend it is. But, but like, uh, would you appraise your friend's feet pics? Nope, I would tell him to go on there and <laughs> eat my ass. <laughs> because, <laughs> nope. <laughs> The conversation started with, like, that is so far removed from any kink I have that I don't, I don't understand the attraction to feet. If you want to jerk off to a, like, toes, go for it. I don't get it. To where I cannot tell you the value of what makes a quality foot pick. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's stepping on something. I don't know if I it's I feel like that is manicured. in and of itself a whole different thing. Yeah, because that makes it worse. If it was ever, if there were gonna be any quality for me, that just made it worse that the foot's in something now. Yeah. I did like that less. I feel like it would have to be soft. But then I say that, if you got it like a real canyony, craggy, like just like a real dry, dirty, thick toenail ass foot, you got a bunion. Yeah. Your extra bunion looks like a toe. <laughs> like, your foot's real fucked. I'm sure there's someone out there step for that. On, step on Pringles. Mm. Don't cut your foot. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. I my... Imagine crunching them and like crunching them and then stepping down your toes and crunch them more. Okay, hold up. How the fuck did we get here from chimps? Because you went to come foot and I said oh. basically the same two things that person's into, come and feet. It's the same neighbor. It's a pervert. Tracking cast. our conversations is bad. Yeah. Brad. It's really bad. Yeah, because I have to say it started bad. with come foot, which was you. Hey. It started with chimps, which was you. <laughs> That's much funnier. <laughs> I didn't come put the chimp. <laughs> I just, I imagine he's just, they named him that as a joke, but then he always just accidentally steps in it. Uh, and just slips? Like, whoa. Well, yeah, instead of a banana peel. Who put this here? And like, we, like, we know it was him this morning. Oh. He came there this morning and he, he does this and that's the, the bit he does. And then he eats it. I'm coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like off his own feet, off his own fucking nasty hand feet. There, God, what? I hate monkeys. <laughs> I hate monkeys. I hate chimps. I'm chimps the musical. I am indifferent towards gorillas. You know what? There's something I wanted to bring up. I think my but... dad. Check this out. I'm pretty <laughs> sure my dad had a monkey as a pet as a child. I think you've talked about this because you brought this up to me. Yeah, my wella is. Uh, kind of a black hole of evil, but also like a catamari of garbage. So she had a monkey and a goat, I think a few other weird animals. Yeah, no farm animals. 
Yeah, like a monkey. Yeah, you know. You know, like uh, you know, like like a like ape wool. Got a ma- <laughs> <laughs> You know. <It's> just, <laughs> you shave a monkey, <laughs> sell it to the farmer. How fucking <laughs> scared would you be to shave an ape? <laughs> how fucking how fucking good is that job? And how much? How good is that pay, or how shitty is your life to when you're shaving a chimp? I feel like how or powerful do you have to be? To wear an ape fur <laughs> jacket. <laughs> Who is that oppressing? Because I feel like it's oppressive, but I don't know how it is. Yeah, that's it's it's that's bad. It's, it's not it's bad. not a matter of like ooh, it's a matter of how. Yeah. I'll bring up my thing for the next episode because it's been like it's been it's been a bit. I think we can get into games. <sighs> yeah. So. Oh, um, you blind when you blind. <laughs> I have a game. All right. I have a new game. All right. Uh, do I do mine or do you want to do your thing? Well, my thing is stupid, but it has a funny name. But for me, and only for a second. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's All start right. With that. It's called Interview with a Vampire, <laughs> which is when you have to interview. We're interviewing small children for jobs they think they have. It's like punk. Why is it called vampire? Because they complain all the time. Why, why is vampire even a part of this? It's a joke, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. That thing we do. You've never seen a yuck before, have you? No. You go first. Only a yuff. <laughs> oh, gross. So we're interviewing kids for jobs. It doesn't have to be kids. Just you're, you're interviewing <laughs> someone who complains a lot. Look, I literally <laughs> made this up okay, about what? 15 minutes before this happened, and so, I was just like, "Interview with the vampire." That sounds funny. So how does this? What's so objective? essentially, like I'm, I am interviewing someone who just complains a lot, okay. or it could be like you're actually interviewing like a child who is like, oh, I'm interviewing like you're doing a book report, let's say this child about being a builder. What would a fucking child think a builder does? So I am gonna yeah. interview you about what this job that you think is real, yeah. but you're stupid and, a, and I don't know, a child, or you're just what? dumb, or you're just me. That that's good for where does this end? It doesn't. It just keeps going until neither of us thinks it's funny anymore. Which is most of our games, Brad, if they ever had ends. Is that really where we're going to fucking start <laughs> judging our games? Because we need to okay. rethink right. the podcast premise, if that's the point. Okay, alright, I think I got it. Fucking goobus. Do you want to be the kid first? Sure, I don't give a fuck. Oh, be the kid. Alright. Um, I'll, I'll be the person uh, interview- interviewing a kid or explain to a kid? Uh, you're, you're interviewing me. And what, 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 what job was I supposed to, inter- what job was I supposed to have read about? I've read about. Yeah, like, um, like this is a, this is a school project, and I am a child, and the, it's it's like a play thing. But you you told me to to study up on the, on a job. Uh, I told you to study up on uh, the economics, specifically of the south southeast region of the United States. All right. Cool. Hey, uh, so uh, do you have the notes? I do. All right, cool. So let me see the notes, so we can start getting the PowerPoint together. All right, I got it right here. What are those? Uh, well, I don't know how to write, so I, I did just draw a picture of Louisiana. I, I can see that, and not only is that not notes, that is also precisely Kentucky. That is well, I did draw Florida, but I forgot because it usually looks like a boot. It's California. It, the page is upside down. See. Uh, Kind of looks like Italy. <laughs> you don't have the notes, do you? No, these are my notes. I listen to it on audiobook. How? Yeah, okay. I, I listen to so, economics in so, South America on audiobook. So this is probably good. Um, can we get <laughs> Professor? Can, can we get the audiobook? Professor? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> can we get can we get the audiobook files? We can put them in the PowerPoint. It's like yeah. an audio snippet thing. Uh, we, yeah. we can type something up. Yeah. I just emailed you the link to the Google Doc. Okay, um... I that is, uploaded my pictures. That is not a link. You sent me. Oh, uh, well, uh, I did, I did draw you a picture of what I think the links look like. Yeah, there's a PNG, and it's just... it's This one's Texas. Mm-hmm. Send me a PNG of what looks like you drew Texas. I thought it was Lake Erie! I don't know how to read, Professor! What, where's the audiobook you had? Let's I don't start, know! You said you were listening to it. My mom helped me with this project. Okay. We're gonna type it up. We're just gonna be all words. We all need we all need visuals. Okay. Um what what do you let's start with uh let's start with Georgia. What do you know about uh Georgia's uh election? Peaches. Georgia's election. 
in 2014. Uh, president Peaches, he was elected for president of Georgia. Jesus Christ. And he... Damn, damn, professor! Okay, Did I'm you gonna, know that I'm when so, you go, they have Bibles everywhere? I'm gonna stop you there. Okay, just, um, the let's... The devotionals of peaches. No, that one's too hard. Let's go, uh, Alabama. So, Alabama has a pretty extensive history. Uh, do, do you know about the thing that, about, like, 1805? Do, do you remember us going over that? Yeah, the big show did an Alabama slammer on... <laughs> C.K. Walker! That was last Monday. I watched that show, too. Yeah. 1806 was one year later. You got this. Yes, it was. Uh, President Lincoln went to Alabama and was shot by the big show with a gun. I'm assuming you were shot by a gun. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a slingshot. It might have been. <coughs> okay, so I'm dying, and um, before I think just. This is probably my last semester. Mine too. I I had a feeling. Um, we need something to turn. Do you, you have one more thing in your arm there? Um, I do. Is, is that gonna be useful? No. What what's under your arm? All right. Well, I brought a picture of my dead hamster. I did find him today. Jesus I had enough Christ! That's not a picture. That's just your. That's just a dead hamster. I have synesthesia, and I thought the drawing was the same as what touching the him. What the fuck? When I drew a picture of my dead hamster, he was dead, but in my hand. It is literally still moving a little bit. Oh, maybe he's alive. All right, I'm putting him back in my pocket. It's not gonna. No, he. It's like any minute now, sort of living though. I'm taking him back out. Is he dead? He's again. He's moving less. Well, I'll put him on the table. I can hear each breath leave him, and I f see him deflate each time. I don't see how this helps us. Well, this uh, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. That's the wrong United side States, of the U.S. Alabama, Florida. These are the states of the southern border of the United States. Oh, this is the only ones that I know, so. Are you going to do it again? Uh, no, please don't. I'm just. I, no, seriously, I think... they're the only ones that I know in order. Please let me do it again. I think I'm just gonna take the grade California, whatever. Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. Florida. If you say that when we present this, someone's gonna wake up out of like their winter soldier stupor and they're gonna kill someone. Get the gun. See into that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well then. Okay. Alright. That, that was good, that was good. Cool. Didn't go as I expected, but I but I but I like it. I yeah, like I, it. I feel like that's how a lot of this goes, is not as expected. You know what, that's fine. I appreciate that. Okay, so right. I'll, I'll, I'll be a child. Alright. I'll, I'll be the kid. Alright. Alright there, Jim. Uh, you got what you need. You're uh, you're on in about two minutes. I, I, I sure did. Um, here, here you go. Alright, uh, let me see. So your notes don't have your name on them. Or your handwriting. It, it, it kind of looks well, like you had help on this one, Jim. Yeah, I printed out Google Maps. Uh... This one's Spain. Well, you were definitely supposed to look, uh... This one's New York, like New York City, like the big one. Hey, hey, bud. This one's Pacific Ocean, that's why it's all one color. I really appreciate that, but I'm My definitely... dad went to Pacific Ocean one time, he didn't come back. I'm not gonna lie, I think you might have cheated off of someone else, because maybe your friend Billy in the other class had the states? You were definitely supposed to be looking into, uh, slaughterhouses. Well, I, I've, um, here's, here's a big one of Japan. I think there's a slaughterhouse in Japan somewhere. All right, all right, uh, point it out to me there, Jim. Uh, this one, the ocean. Well, it does kill, I The guess. ocean is just God's slaughterhouse. Um, all, all right, uh, can, can you give me some citations for that, Jim? Uh, yeah, my dad. All right, My uh, dad told me. Uh, don't you live with your mom? It's been five years since my dad told me that. Alright, Jim, um... My mom gets drunk and she says the ocean is God's slaughterhouse, too. Uh, you might... You know what? I'm gonna send you to the principal office after you do your presentation, because I think we need to unpack a little bit more of this. Uh... Sometimes my mom, my mom hot glues my hand to the ceiling fan and turns it on the highest speed. Uh, oh, that does make sense. You do only have one hand. So, uh, Jim... You're on in about two minutes. Uh, okay. This is the school assembly, and if you don't find something to talk about, 
Uh, it's gonna be pretty weird well, for my, the next 10 minutes. My mom drinks a lot. I could talk about that. All right, you want to talk about how your mom is a slaughterhouse? Yeah, she's like a, like, she calls me like a slaughterhouse for dreams. Can I do that? Uh, you know what? Yeah, but instead of dreams, talk about cows. Give me, give me an example. Uh, bark. Wait, no, sorry. Hiss. No, wait, um, you look too much like him. No, that's my mom again. I, uh, I don't, I've never seen a cow. What's a cow? Um, imagine a big dog. Now kill it and eat it for a burger. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna befriend it first, is that okay? No. I wanna become its friend so I can, like, sort of coax it into, like, I can sort of get to know what's gonna happen to it. Are you gonna it? gaslight it into killing itself, Jim? Because otherwise it's gonna be pretty fucked up that you're its friend. No, it, it's, uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll make him feel good about it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll convince him. So you are gonna gaslight him into killing himself. You know what? No, no, you, you know what? Um, it's, it's I'm just gonna cancel this performance. I'm gonna take you to the principal's office. We need to talk about you and your mom. And <laughs> see. <laughs> That's yeah, good. It's good. Poor Jim. Yeah, poor Jim. Man, I'm glad my mom doesn't drink. Uh, well, it must be nice, Brad, to have a parent that doesn't drink. Well, both my parents doesn't drink, but my dad did. Yeah. For a long time. So, he was too good at it. Oh, man. Man, that's the only thing he was good at. <laughs> being a dad and being not a cheater. Remember the... <laughs> Boy, howdy, he had a problem with them. Remember the one time, there's two times you talked about this down on podcast that destroyed me. One, no, one time I brought up, because I mentioned that our dad's fucking looks like two hippos fighting for territory. <laughs> the other one is you said he used to be scared of your dad until he broke his hip on a water slide. You knew he had weaknesses. Yeah. And that is one of the funniest Look, fucking things the most powerful, I think you've said to me. The most powerful thing a thing can witness is their parents' <laughs> <Don't> mortality. <laughs> Once you know that they're able to die, you just feel so powerful over them. Because you know you'll outlive them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, just don't go down water slides in Costa Rica. Yeah, don't. Especially if they're made of concrete and big. Uh, and you're an idiot, and God was trying to get payback on you. We're taking your Cheating legs. On mom. Oh. I mean, yeah. yeah. Can't fuck with broken legs. Yeah, well... What? Want to do another round of that? Sure, Brad. Wait, what about your game? Uh... Jellicle cats and jellicle cats. I feel like every time we have a pause, it's just gonna be... There's a jellicle Say chimps. You have to say chimps from here on. There's a chimp and a jellicle chimps. Jellicle chimps for jellicle chimps. That's immediately better. Jellicle shrimps for jellicle chimps. Jellicle shrimps for jellicle chimps. You did something interesting. You made shrimps. Jellicle shrimps for jellicle chimps. All you do in this thing is go up. A key, it's really bad. Every song is essentially like this. It's the same thing over and over oh, yeah, again. Song... Keep going up in the key, just keep going up. Kill me, how da, 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 kill me. The songs are actually pretty Please. repetitive and they just change the key and they think we won't fucking notice. And I noticed that for a lot of them. Uh, I is get... they just sing the part Lord. and then they just sing the next part lower in the same exact rhythm. Yeah, it's kind of like that, uh, that, that, uh, that audio illusion of the thing going down, but it never yeah. actually goes down. Yeah. Um, I will say the best part of the Cats movie is when they were all just singing up, up, up to the heaven sign layer, up, 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 up to the heavy sign layer. And it was just that for like three minutes, but they just kept going up in the key. And also those were all the lyrics. Yeah. And also Whitney Houston was going in an air balloon to God. Or that one thing when um old Deuteronomy shows up and they're like, Who is it? Who is it? All you do, could it be? That's the whole fucking song. I hate all of old Deuteronomy songs. No, that's the one where like she's showing up, and it's like this whole fucking moment. Old Deuteronomy lived a long time. I actually love that song. Oh! 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 Check this shit out, man. I hate that. Tell me if this isn't the worst thing you've ever heard in your life and the reason medical diagnosticians need to learn about trans people. Yeah. And maybe I, not- I hate that something about cats has brought this no, up. No, it wasn't that. It was about the cum noise you just made. <laughs> so, okay. I went to a gynecologist. Nice. She definitely talked to me about that oh. video that the turtle thing. <laughs> and I was like, get your fucking gyrocopter out of my vagina. If you're gonna fucking sit here and talk to me about the coming turtle video. <laughs> she bring that up. Dude, I don't remember, but I do remember that happened, and I do hate her. 
Why? Like, what the fuck? Dude, wait, what just think about it. You just flashed your badge <laughs> at an old woman, and she decided to talk about the turtle that came. Okay, I, this was a lot more, because you opened this up with this being like, uh, I thought this, this was a lot less prob problematic than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely weird. That's, that's, that's pretty problematic! Is it problematic to, like, to bring up a turtle cup? I feel like it sucks. To go to years of vagina school to just talk to people about turtles and nutting <laughs> yeah, I feel like, is pretty bad. I feel like it's sort of an abuse of power. Yeah. Because you, you're you actually a hostage. You can't run in that no, situation. No, it was... it was. Because you was... gotta know the situation, but you have to hear this turtle talk. This turtle talk about its cum. And and you know what's funny is that I went to an equally terrible other vagina related thing, and then my doctor talked about her hemorrhoids, but that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, just talking about cum and butt stuff, maybe a yeah. don't do it uh, when you're in a vagina. Yeah, and don't do B, it when you're in someone. Maybe read the room. Yeah. Maybe maybe read the room if you feel like we're at the point in our relationship that you can talk about turtles nutting. And that's some, fine, but there's, there's something like undignifying oh. about mentioning a turtle coming video and less dignifying about saying that you know about the turtle coming video. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was bad. It was a bad time. Do we do are we doing that round again? Or are we doing my game? Oh let's do let's do my game one more time, but we only have two minutes. Alright, alright, cool. Alright. So, uh, mm -hmm. you're the kid now. And what's my topic? Uh, you're oh yeah, we didn't even do a topic for No, you fucking goober. Well, I made it about slow rounds. Yeah, uh, your topic is going to be a fuck. Um, you're, you're a child movie reviewer. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Alright, son. Uh, are you, are you, are you ready to, uh, start, start the podcast about movies? Yeah, Pap, I'm ready. Alright, good. Uh, so what, what movie did you want to talk, just before I hit record, uh, what movie are you doing? I really want to talk about Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill. Okay, that's a good, that's a really classic one. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start the recording and go. Hi, this is Father and Son with the Father and Son Podcast. I'm Father. And I'm the boy. Uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, a movie that my little boy's seen. Yeah, I just saw Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill. And what, what was your favorite part about it? Quentin Tarantino's a good actor who's done nothing wrong. What did you like about him? Well, the one thing that I noticed is that, like all of his movies, there is one scene where they definitely did a close-up on Uma Thurman's feet. <laughs> hey, remember that scene? Sorry. Dad, that was the scene that I, I mean, I hadn't even seen any of his other ones, but she was just sitting there moving her toe, and I was like, it's really weird that her feet are just on the screen like that. And then I realized that every movie of this had that, and I mean, it was so bad, I didn't even know that was a thing. Cause I'm 12, I didn't even know people liked that stuff, and I figured that out, and that's just one movie, Dad. Son, son. I saw another one of his movies where one of the actors licked a woman's foot. <laughs> Dad, I hate Quentin Tarantino. Son, I need I need you to talk about. <clears throat> listen, this this movie review podcast. Uh, what he means to talk about is um cinematography tricks. What's your favorite Quentin Tarantino uh, cinematography trick? The underlighting of feet. <laughs> Son. Apparently you can get the toenails up in that BZ if you just put enough light on it, Dad. Son, this is episode one. I, I really need you to just mention mention. Uh, here, here's a good use of lighting. Good use of lighting. Uh, what what what's your favorite movie with the best uh, lighting choices? Oh, I mean, uh, I definitely saw Kill Bill one and two. And damn, you could see all them little tootsies. Okay, I see what this is going. Uh. He, what about, he does a dialogue scenes. He does really good dialogue. Um, what, what's your favorite Quentin Tarantino line that you, that you saw in Kill Bill? It was, damn, Betty Boop, look at them toes. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was the best part of that movie. Son. Son, this is our first episode of this movie, Pocket. Did you bring another movie? Uh, Wait. yeah. We, it doesn't have to be Quentin Tarantino. What, what's another movie? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Okay, uh, well, well, that's another classic one. I, I love that one. That and the, the Fight Club and Joker, all, all my three of my favorite movies. What did you like about Fear and Loathing? I love that you could see Paul F. Tompkins' foot. <laughs> Wait, that's Hunter S. Tompkins. Hold on, Dad. It's Hunter S. Tompkins, not Paul F. Tompkins. Son. It's feet. <laughs> 
are all the movies you brought about feet? Not all of them are about feet, but feet are in them. Are you gonna talk about feet for all these movies, son? Hey, apparently on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> See under that bed. <laughs> There is a foot website for celebrities' feet. Is it called Wikipedia? If it's not, I don't... Dude, they're missing out on free real estate. Because holy fuck. Wikipedia. Trisha. Yeah, no. Wiki... But like... No. Podiatrist. Wikipedia. I was saying Wikipedia. 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 That is spelled the same. <laughs> like you say it different. <laughs> it's spelled the exact same. But you know it's different because Wikipedia all is like very good. Wikipedia hey. is nothing. There's nothing you just said. Hey, Brad, listen up, man. Make me a make me a child. What's my pocus topic? Pocus to pocus. You're a small blocus. <laughs> What's my topic? Your topic when is I cast spells in this. Yes, your topic is magic. Okay. All right, small B B G. <laughs> that's your wizard name. No, well, that's me. Uh, now, small B G. I've told you many times before we enter the house of the elders, you must learn your place. Tell me about what you've learned about magic. I learned a lot. Of, I learned a lot, a lot of a lot of things. I learned that sometimes if you preheat the oven to four fifty, you can. That's that's the right. You can make your bread rise. That's well, good yeast. All right, all right. I heard I, you did say that. But what I want to know is how did you light the fire that was in there? Did you use magic? Did you did you light it well, by... I, start, I, I started on, on, on like a low heat at first. And then once I got oh, to a low but heat... Did you, but did you use a lighter? Did you use flint and steel? Did I you use wasn't... monkey energy? <laughs> Mungies is what we call the normal people. We used to call them muggles, and then that fucking mother piece of dick, J.K. Rowling, stole our word. So now we call them mungies. I just turned it off on the oven. Okay, well that's the mungy way to do it. So how did, how did you do it if you were in a wizard house where we don't, where all we have is stacks of firewood over a cauldron? No, under a cauldron, not over a cauldron. That's a lid. A stack of fire over a cauldron's a lid. <laughs> so how would you do it if it were under the cauldron, like a, like you know, like for fires? Well, how would you do it? Well, I think we got some lighters in the drawer somewhere. I think we can just sort okay, of like. Okay, you. I've been teaching I've, you for four years. We have a gas stove, so sometimes I use them for that. So I know we got a lighter. Small BG, how the fuck have you been in my house without using magic? You know, I, I clean a lot. I clean. I like. I like to cook. The How, thing. Yesterday, Potions a lot like yesterday you made my spell book fly across the room. I threw it. I threw it real what? good. What? I threw it. As hard as I fucking but, could with all my strength. Oh, but then how were you able to charge my iPhone without using your electricity? I hold up between my thighs. Oh. But see, that's not magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's spice. Yes. Not magic. <laughs> It, it's used to make cookies good. Is it? No. I've made but cookies it's... in the oven. Using, I think that one's more 375, I think, for you. If, uh, don't use too much sugar, otherwise it won't okay, rise. Well, but monkey, if, like, if you use how, egg... How did you manage to clean my house without using magic? Bleach. All bleach. And how did you make the bleach if you didn't have the magic potion? Safeway have to look this deal. God damn it, monkey! You're not supposed to be seen by humans! I uh, know, but like, um, it's. With your hunched back and your many visceral eyes and your tiny dicks! Well, Twitter tells me body positivity is really important. You have to, like, lack your own body before you can actually, like, learn to change it. So yeah, well, that would be fine if you didn't keep taking all of the monkeys. I was wondering why you got so many fucking appendages! Small BG! You're not so small anymore! You're 15 feet tall because you've been going to fucking save way down the bed and getting the bleach! Small BG, you fucking tall nasty boy! You fucking hunchback and your 15 limbs and your 20 eyes and your 3 faces! You keep <laughs> talking in different mouths because you keep on eating all the people in Safeway! You dumb slut for people! What am I? You're a monster, small BG! You're a 
monster. <laughs> See, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I as a character changed. <laughs> <laughs> that. You did, you did, but you like know you what? You narrated a transformation scene. You know what? It was beautiful, and it was it was gorgeous. That one, that one, I think had a narrative. As, you know, it had start, beginning, and it ends. That one, that one's very good. It ended with uh, the wizard using his only monkey spell gun. <laughs> <laughs> small peachy out of his misery. I really want Harry Potter and the Cursed Child <laughs> to call him monkeys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm monkey born. <laughs> monkeys. Dumb, 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 Govins. We probably got time for my game. Yeah, tell me about your game. Uh, my game, it's a new game. Alright. Uh, it's got, much like the one we just played. Uh, mine's called, I don't know what to call it, so I'm just calling it Super Fight. Alright, that's funny. Uh, how this game works right. is that one of us is going to be fighting someone real strong. It's me, you're fighting me. So strong that they only have one weakness. That's me. We have to guess the weakness. It's my dick. Well. Oh, sorry, we'll, we'll start again. Try again? So, so... The person. It's still my dick. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it twice in a row, you'd never guess. So the person. Try to guess this next one. <laughs> what bit are you taking me into? It's my scrotum now. It's both my scrotes. Let me explain the fucking bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm going to kill you. Guess the next one. <laughs> it's my dick again. Third time's a charm. I played the twice. Explain your game. <laughs> one person <sighs> is trying to beat up the other person yes. and beat them in a fight. The, yeah. the other person only has one weakness. The yeah. other person also <laughs> cannot stop <coughs> giving fucking hints about their weakness. All right. They talk a lot and give hints. All right. Uh, here's the thing. The, the big person who only has one weakness at some point is gonna hit you three times the third one kills you all right you have the vitality that one hit just removes half of a, like a third of your vitality as a human is gone after they hit you if this yeah. happens three times you do die and the game ends if you on the circumstance that you die you don't guess the weakness <laughs> I really want to get cinematic with how you kill the person. Oh, hell the yeah. The other small person. Hell yeah. So that that's how the game's played. And then you you pretty much choose when you t t do a hit on the person <coughs> and, okay. and take away a point, basically. So, okay, so what you're saying is I, I'm essentially a big strong man. I keep telling you where my 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 pain is. You keep trying to figure out where it is, but well, while we're talking, I keep hitting you and telling you that I'm hitting you. Yeah, it's okay. it's more like you have a weakness, and the weakness is like I can only be stabbed by a knife made of slime. Oh, okay, so it's and not it's like, like it's yeah. my knee. Yeah, no, it's like you have a lost in the war. You have one specific weakness, <laughs> right. and you keep giving hints about it. All right, all right, all right. That's basically it. Do, do you want to be big strong first? Yeah. Alright, be big strong first. Alright. <coughs> Alright, boyo. How are you gonna kill me this time? I, I've I've tried to do this for so long, but I think I, I think I got it down. And now this is this is me. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap you. Well, I think you got enough space for that, you little twerp. I think I can do that because I think I need to climb on you first. That's, well, I guess that could potentially be good, but... I fell off of you, damn it. Good. I think you're pretty starry-eyed from that, uh, falling down from me. I'm about 12 feet tall, and you're about 3 feet tall, and I am gonna kick you right now. Shit. Oh, fuck! Piece of shit. Oh, that hurt. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a ladder. I'm gonna take a ladder, and I'm gonna climb up real high. I think I'm getting close to the weakness. Uh, you're not getting close at all. In fact, I think you're gonna need something very big to to take me down. I'm going. I'm gonna call my friends over at SpaceX, and they're gonna land a rocket ship into you. Well, that uh, I you're getting close to killing me, which is a little fucked up. I'm gonna kick you again. Damn it, God. Well, I don't think the people at SpaceX could do that. The stuff that would kill me, you can't call. Well, I well, 
uh, all my ribs are gone. Good. <laughs> They're all sticking out of me like what a Kimimaro. So, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to fight. What are you going to do, bring down the moon? Ha! <laughs> hey, but it wouldn't be the moon that would kill me. I, I'm going to, I need to drop something bigger. Yes. I'm going to drop. Oh, why am I telling you that? No, I'm, I mean. I'm, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop Mars. No, I think we can do it. No, I'm I'm about three seconds away from killing you. I literally okay, fuck. What uh, the, there's only two things in the sky that could kill me, and it's I'm, certainly not the moon. I'm and going, my hand's coming down. I'm gonna build a catapult. I'm gonna shoot you into the sun. Oh, you're a fucking dumbass. I'm kicking you. Damn. All right. Well, but you know, but this time the way I kick you is I, well, I don't. I use my I use my hand foot. I put a I put a human shoe on my finger, which is very big and can put, it can fit about a size six boy shoe. And I'm gonna just put it down on your face, and I'm gonna keep on like... pressing until your head explodes. Please explodes. make it stop. Nope. <laughs> and then, right before it bursts, <laughs> I'm gonna kick your nut so hard you die. <laughs> oh. And then I'm gonna flick you into the sun. Too bad he didn't get all of my hints about space and the thing coming down on me. He just needed to bring down the sun to kill me. I, I, my thing was I'm gonna shoot you up into the sun. No, it needs to come down to me. I'm invincible in space. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn it. That was my one. You did, that's why no one can kill me down when I'm here. All right. So. Oh, that's... I'm Finn Balor, <laughs> the wrestler. Yeah, my favorite. I'm gonna do too. a flip, and I'm gonna. Coup de gras right in your dick. Too bad. Okay, well, I died. Get to the demon and you're gonna cunt you <laughs> right into the moon. <laughs> you punt. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be big strong now. Alright. It's gonna be hard not to do that again. It was very good fun. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> You've been here for the last time, big strong. Yes, and I don't think you're gonna take me down this time. I don't know. Because you got... never do, and you always try this. I got my gun that shoots corks. Well, those just bounced off of me. Well, fuck. All you right. think anything man made is going to kill me? Shit. You dumb bitch. You know what? I am definitely gonna keep shooting you to distract you, but I'm gonna call my fairy friend. Bouncing off my nipples. I called my fairy friends, and he says he's gonna give me a sword to chop you in the nuts. Well, my nuts just chopped your sword in half. Oh, fuck. Too bad you're using those hands on a sword. Stupid. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, fuck. Oh, my dick. You know what? I'm gonna put... You're right. I've been thinking like a mortal. I'm gonna put this katana in between my feet, and I'm gonna try and hit you. Well, you're still with the man-made tools. You're never gonna learn. No, this is the one I got from fairies. Remember? Yeah, that, I. Fa I don't <laughs> think a sword. I don't. I don't mean to just sword. I don't think a sword is going to help you. All right. Well, I don't I'm even gonna... think you have the amount of appendages needed to mm -hmm. kill me. I'm gonna call my octopus friend, and he's gonna slap your nuts. <laughs> And I am gonna throw them at you, but with my feet. Well, now that you're starting to put some of my nuts, and lucky for you, I'm very into this. Alright, well, I'm gonna call a gorilla to forge a gun from banana leaves. <laughs> what is with? <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me his banana gun. Uh, still not enough of... I, listen, all these guns and swords are very useless. I think <clears throat> you just... Uh, I just, I don't think you can just get them okay? on me. I don't think you just get them. You can't get them on me. Is the thing? Is it okay? Hold on. Oh fuck it! I'm, gonna take... I'm behind you now and I'm punching you. Oh my back is actually broken. I only have use of one of my legs and arms. I have these magical sticky mm. notes and I'm writing insults on them and I do slap them on your leg. One of those things is very unfortunate that you don't have anymore, which I can say now that you're almost dead. Uh, oh, I'm gonna throw an- I'm- I cut my own arm off and throw it at you. <laughs> that is the, your last hope you needed, you fucking idiot. I- oh no, wait. <laughs> you had a 50-50 chance, and you turned it into a zero. I took my- I take back the- wait. I- <laughs> I have my hands a ghost, kinda like in John Dies at the end, and I use it to punch you. <laughs> it's not- uh, no. It's, um, it's not... It's, listen. It's too bad you dumb humans, unlike me, are not born 
with with what the kit needed to kill me. You only, you only got two of those little things. You little dumb bitch. Any last words? I'm gonna try. I cut my nuts off and shove them <laughs> down your throat. Yum. I put both of them down your throat. Num num num. I love I love me a bowl. You know what? Uh, you know what? Just kill me. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. I'm I'm projecting my astral form. What's he look like? Uh, your astral form is just, it's an ape. <laughs> it's a big gorilla. You scared yeah, yet? Yeah, but he's got real tiny hands. What's what's his voice like? His voice is uh Bob Barker. Hi, I'm Bob Barker. How's he talk? I'm a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sure. I'm Bob Barker. Are you ready to die? I'm an astral perform. I'm an astral projection made to kill you. Ask me about the price. Wait, make me guess the price of my death. Uh, too much for you to handle. It's one dollar. I'm gonna beat you to death now. Aww. Get ready. <laughs> Bob Barker beatdown. <laughs> You're dead now! It's too bad he didn't have four hands to choke me. My one weakness. Brad, that you stupid said it, bitch! Brad, you said no man made thing could Yeah, kill you. because arms aren't man made. Yeah, they're specifically made by men. <laughs> they're what? specifically human made. No, human that doesn't. Only that humans doesn't make mean human manufactured. Arms, Brad. You can't say your hands are manufactured. You can say it's a good thing people can't make this. It's not man made. Or Who makes it? The angels in the vaginas? <laughs> no, you, arms, you think you got a little spider in there? Arms are babies in your room? Arms are not man-made. You're not going to... Shut the Brad, fuck up. You're not going to tell me. Humans are the first thing that was man-made. They, they are. Do you fucking understand? What? Then who made man? Are they God-made? Are you fucking... Are you making this theological? Man-made. I am going to piss in your Like drink. a fucking laptop? I am going to put my ass in your fucking wedding A katana is man-made. I'm going to ruin your day and Sam's day because I hate this so much. I'm um, going to shit my pants at your wedding. <laughs> okay? Arms aren't man-made, you're not gonna- I'm gonna sit on your mom's lap with my poopy <laughs> pants! <laughs> Do you fucking hear me? You fucking tell your mom that you're not man-made! I fucking I'm dare you! I'm not man-made! What the fuck? I'm boy-made. Oh, you just popped me! You released me from my prison! <laughs> little man inside me is finally <laughs> You finally did it! You get one wish! I wanna die. Okay, well, I do have a spell for that. Oh my god. I'll kill you after you give me this one thing. Oh. The catapult of the week. Oh, fuck. What's made of? You're uh, inaudible. I know. It's I, inaudible. Let me do this one out, chimps. Well, it's purely chips. It's purely live chips. You know what I... Okay. Coordinating them, we have to do one banana that when you grab it, it produces another banana. So they're always contrary to the middle taking bananas. And that's what keeps it sort of keeping its form. Because we don't like glue or tape them together. Are you telling They just spontaneously create themselves. Yeah, just create, sort of keep, like keep creating bananas. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's kind of like something from Skyrim. Yeah, kind of. Alright, so you've Bethesda this. The, the arm of it is the biggest ape. That's okay. what launches you. Alright, does he just throw you real hard? Yeah, he just chucks you as hard as he can, which is still pretty far. Alright, well that's just, what you're telling me is you'd have one chimp surrounded by a lot of other chimps. No, one, one gorilla one surrounded by a lot of other chimps. Okay, how big is this gorilla? Uh, how big are we talking about? He's about eight feet tall. It's the biggest one we could find. You know what? I, I, I Imagine an eight foot gorilla and try... To not shit your pants. Ho 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 ho! You've completed my puzzle. Go I am gonna. You did wish to die, and I am gonna kill you now. So finally, um, I'm gonna choke you. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna choke you with my fairy made hands, cause I'm a fairy. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking no. Shut the fuck up! I'm choking you with my tiny little hands. If they weren't, they're not man made. They're fairy made. <laughs> I hope that didn't pick up. I did a little fairy too. <laughs> I'm gonna keep choking you. I'm sorry that we weren't funny. While you're trying to choke me, I'm gonna I'm put sorry. you in the catapult. We didn't oh. put anyone in the catapult. I'm oh, putting no. this little fairy in the catapult. Oh, no. Get the 
Get the no, fuck no. in there! Oh god, there's just Get such a- there. You're right, he's so big god. and I'm so tiny! Oh, oh his All right. hands are so leathery! Alright, where do you want to no. fucking go? I don't want to go nowhere, I'm finally free! Alright, so... I'm finally a free little man! I'm, no, don't put me in the- I'm plucking off your- I'm plucking off your fucking no, wings! No, no, they're bald! I'm made of Alright, where do you want to go? Pick your last fucking oh, destination. Oh god, kill me! Strip me of my strength! You know what? This is a twist kind oh. of funny. As you're in the gorilla's arm, oh. another arm comes up. Oh. <laughs> it just pancakes you. It doesn't send you anywhere. It's a red herring. Brad, I just woke up. What happened? Uh, I had the strangest dream that you murdered a fairy. I did. Oh, well then. It exploded. It looked like crushing a little blueberry. Oh, well, they taste like... Uh, what'd you say? Medicine? Yeah, I tried these blueberries. <laughs> uh, tried eating them earlier, and they um, had the precise taste of ibuprofen. <laughs> and so I stopped eating them, and we went to Burger King. Man. It looks like a little bit of that fairy man lives inside us all. Sorry we weren't funny tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that thing with chimps for a while there. I'm sorry that I farted. <laughs> yeah, you did. I audibly farted. I'm keeping it in if it picked up. I don't care. No one... My girlfriend stops listening to this after about 10 minutes. So that is <laughs> so okay with me. Okay, well, um, I'm going to send this off. Um... <laughs> We always do something funny that we cut ourselves off on what do you want it to be today. Well, I was hoping that uh, the fairy man would choke you out and then he would end it, but... Uh, no, you I ended it. him. Oh. Fucking idiot. <laughs>